Hey everyone, welcome back to Inside K-Swiss. My name is Mason and today, the very first thing that we wanna share with you is a little behind the scenes of a tennis photo shoot. We got to shoot in this really dope studio down at FD Studios here in downtown Los Angeles. We brought in a professional tennis player who wears our product. His name is Marcos Giron. And one of the challenges this particular photo shoot presented was we were in this fairly small space with expensive lights and all these kinds of things. And we're shooting tennis and we want to get Marcos in full motion, swinging a tennis racket, you know, doing real moves that for tennis players, they're going to know when they see the photo, oh, he's doing a backhand down the line. That's the only tennis move that I know. But shooting big movements like this in a very small space can get really tricky. So a big thing that we had to think about while we were shooting was how do we set this up so that Marcos can do the full action so we get a real image, but he's not running into the photographer or like hitting my camera or anything like that. We finally got a brand new marketing director. Her name is Gabriela Gomez. She's dope, and we brought her on the Inside Case Was podcast. Welcome to a new member of the team. I'm proud to introduce this week, Gabriela Gomez. Hi. Welcome to K Swiss. Thank you. I'm Gabby so is our here. new marketing director, freshly in the company for uh, approximately three days. Day three, just throwing right. me in. It's in at great. the deep end, straight on, <laughs> straight onto the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Every time we release a new shoe, we have what's called a seeding program. We take a few pairs of shoes and we send them out to influencers and people that if they get the shoes and they care about the shoes and like them, it's really gonna help us sell more. Now, this is three weeks in a row. We've been teasing Breaking Bad and I'm really hoping Barney will let me actually show you the shoes today. But uh, if they're blurred, I'm sorry. I wasn't able to, I had to censor it. So for our seeding kits, which we're <laughs> packing and starting to ship out this week. Um, we have a pretty innocuous little package. It's not that little. It's gonna show up on people's doorsteps. And then when you open it up, you're gonna see the, uh, the fry batter bucket inside. Barney, you wanna pour it up? Okay. Call to action tag on the, on the handle says Breaking Bad K-Swiss, hashtag Breaking Bad K-Swiss. Pretty thorough. John did a really amazing job with this. So what's inside? Is it drugs? Kind of. <laughs> um, this, so you can see it starts to tease you what's actually inside. You'll see the RV scheme on the box. And then you open it up and it's got the, uh, the periodic table from the uh, intro to the episodes. And then last but not least, we have the extremely limited edition K-Swiss Breaking Bad recreational vehicle shoe. <laughs> John, you're boxing up Brian Cranston's shoe. Brian Cranston's shoe. A couple times a year, we have a sales meeting where we bring in all of our sales associates from around the world and pitch them the new product for a year out. So we have a sales meeting coming up and this sales meeting is the fall winter 2020 sales meeting where we're pitching everything that they'll be selling into retailers next year. This Friday, we went to a gorgeous house in Los Feliz to get all of the images and the videos that we need to pitch the new product to our sales team. And so here you can see Santi shooting, and then I come in and I get these couple clips with the same model and the same shoes, same setup. But I just kind of shoot around the set in a way that's gonna be more interesting for video. Yeah, I'm definitely Airbnb here sometimes. Yeah, do it. I really like enabling models to be creative, and I think people use models in different ways and that's their thing. Mine is understanding that models are creatives and they should be able to express themselves creatively. Cheerio. Hey, Barney. Hey, Barney. How are you in your castle? Um, and I think it really fits to our ethos with entrepreneurs and, and just our style as a company of letting people express their ideas and be creatives. Next shot. It's a wrap! All the models were really great. I think one thing when you're picking models, pick models that know what they're doing. When you're doing a casting, even if it's a free shoot, maybe bring them for a test shoot, 
somewhere just do something simple because if the models really don't know what they're doing it's going to be a lot harder for you to execute and these models all knew what they're doing every shot they changed their pose and one of them actually did something that i've never seen before which was slowly move whenever there was a pose going on he slowly moved even while he's moving i could still get a great sharp shot when normally models move pretty quickly and you can't necessarily use those shots when they're moving so you have to let them execute the pose they're going to and go with it so thanks for coming with us and it would, i'd love for you to stay with us but you can't so so go you got you gotta go you gotta go Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Inside K-Swiss. Make sure you subscribe if you're watching on YouTube and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another episode. Also, leave a comment down below just welcoming Gabby to the team. She's super cool and I cannot wait to do a ton more projects with her on the team.